you. What is up guys? My name is Liv and today we are going to be doing part two to our random wheel generator zoo. If you haven't already, go ahead and watch part one. We created a habitat for the southern cassowary, the cheetah, and the Himalayan brown bear. So go give that video a watch first, but if you're returning, let's go ahead and start part two. So you already know the deal. I started out by spinning for which animal was going to go into the zoo and we got the grizzly bear. After spinning for the animal, I needed to spin for the theme to see what theme we were going to be building in for the grizzly bears. We got North African. I was really thinking we were going to get New World, which would have been perfect for grizzly bears, but we got North African and I was going to make it work. I was a little bit disappointed to see that we were going to be building another bear. However, by the end of the video, it ended up turning really, really nice. I had built kind of a mountain habitat for the Himalayan brown bear. So because the grizzly bear was going to be right next to the Himalayan brown bear, I decided to make this little portion the bear wall. And as you can see, I am creating that little sign right there. For the grizzly bear habitat, I knew that I wanted there to be kind of an indoor building um, looking into the grizzly bear habitat. The reason for this is I knew that I wanted another habitat to be viewable from the other side of this like mountain cliff. And I also wanted guests to be able to see the Himalayan brown bear from a different viewing point as well. Once I got the layout for the kind of building I wanted, I started putting some flooring in there, but there was not any good North African flooring. All of the building pieces for North African are just laster pieces, except for like the decorations and stuff. So I took one of the props for the North African pack and they had these ceilings that were just a bunch of wooden pieces. Now I couldn't find these wooden pieces like separately, but they had already kind of put it together in this North African piece for me. So I went ahead and just connected it to the flooring. I think it counts, it may be cheating, but I think it counts because it was connected to a North African piece and it's North African themed. Once I got a general layout for that building that I wanted to do, it was time to go ahead and start the grizzly bear habitat. I filmed a lot of it off camera just because I spent a lot of time terraforming. I wanted to make sure that the space looked right and also that guests could get in there. And if you know anything about Planet Zoo, the pathing is just atrocious half the time. So I did a lot of it off camera. For the most part, I wanted to show the thought process going along. So I built a path going over the Himalayan brown bear habitat and kind of peeking into the grizzly bear habitat. But I wanted to keep the grizzly bears and the guests separated from each other. So I created that wall kind of lining the habitat. I don't typically like to use barriers, like the in-game barriers for my habitats, but with this habitat and a later habitat that you'll see later in the video, I ended up having to use a lot of in-game barriers, which I was the happiest about, but I think it still looks beautiful for the grizzly bear habitat. Right there will be foreshadowing later in the video. I ended up needing to put coolers in the grizzly bear habitat, but they weren't powered. So I ended up having to build a staff building right next to the grizzly bear habitat. I didn't know what theme to do it in. So I spun the wheel again and we got African, which paired so nicely with the North African theme. It made me able to bring more color into this area of the zoo because while I love my plaster pieces, they just weren't what I was looking for for the grizzly bear habitat. We made it work. I think at the end, it all comes together perfectly. I created this entire building with the intention of putting the utilities that I built the building for in the building and they didn't fit. I was working on this for, I would say about two hours. So I decided to be done and put it in front of the building instead. I started to film the kind of scenic viewing of the grizzly bear habitat and I saw that people were running away. Remember when I brought up that foreshadowing? Yeah, this is that moment. Um, the grizzly bear walked through glass. Mm hmm Yeah, it escaped and walked through the glass onto the wood in the building that I built. So I had to completely redo that, but here is the finished grizzly bear habitat.
Now it was time to spin for the next animal and we got the collared peccary. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Collared peccary. I went to spin for the theme and we got Indonesian. I don't know why I added Indonesian onto this wheel because I, I don't have an Indonesian pack. Editing live here. Since recording this video, I have actually splurged and bought every single DLC within Planet Zoo. So I now have the Indonesian pack. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like for me to recreate this habitat using the Indonesian pieces. So we had to spin it again. And this time we got Indian, which which was perfect. A big problem that I thought I was gonna run into with this random wheel generator zoo was where to put all of the habitats and still make them kind of look cohesive. But because I got Indian for this build, I knew exactly where I was gonna put it. I was gonna put it right next to the cheetahs that was also decorated in Indian kind of theme. I had never built for these guys before. They were added pretty recently, but I've seen a few different habitat builds for them. So I knew that I wanted to keep it generally pretty small, but I still wanted to kind of have like an Indian farm feel to it. I was trying to kind of give it some decoration. I changed the decorations about 20 times. I finally landed on something I was okay with, but the grand thing here is that fence. So I spent a lot of time on that fence to make sure it was perfect. Once it was time to decorate the habitat, I knew that we weren't working with a lot of space here, but I wanted just to have a lot of foliage, a lot of decorations, a lot of greenery. I didn't want to sacrifice the amount of space that they had to walk around, so I ended up putting a lot of the foliage work on the building itself because they weren't stepping on the building, and it still brought some greenery to the habitat. Just to kind of piece these two habitats together, I decided to add this like little kind of a pathway next to these two habitats. And I just, I put a generalized building right there. I just got it from the workshop. This habitat was a pretty quick habitat. So here is the finished colored peccary. <laughs> Now, these guys ended up causing a lot of trouble for me, down to the babies jumping off of the cactuses and escaping to they bred like no other. I should have known. I should have known if they were going to be anything like the common warthog, then they were going to breed like crazy. And so because I made this habitat so small, they were having a lot of issues with how much space they had. But I mean, just look at these guys. They are so cute. I can't really be that mad at them, so I... I let it go. For our third animal, I spun the wheel and I kid you not, I got a third bear. We're gonna be building a habitat now for the black bear. I think that's pretty much all of the bears that we have in Planet Zoo, except for maybe the polar bear. Editing live here. Correction, after getting all of the Planet Zoo DLC packs, there is now the sloth bear, sun bear, and then I didn't add the panda bear, along with the polar bear. That's now four total bears that the wheel can still give us, and those will be going on the bear wall. I spun it for the theme and we got Australia Australia. Now, hear me out. Normally, you would not think Asian, North African, African, and Australian really go together, but realistically, they're all pretty close on the map as far as like geographically located, and they actually share a lot of animals with each other. So because of that, they kind of mesh together pretty well. I knew that I wanted the black bear habitat to still be on this like cliff that's on the bear walk where I had put the grizzly bear matched up perfectly with where this black bear habitat was going to line up. I wanted two access points though. I never like only having one entrance, one exit for a guest. It just makes everything clogged up. So I ended up building another path to the side there. I knew that on the main entrance up to the bear walk, I wanted to have this like beautiful waterfall piece, but with the waterfall system, I couldn't get the water to look exactly how I wanted to with like a little pond up top and it looking like that water Water from the pond is falling down. So I ended up basically creating a fake waterfall. None of the water is actually connected to the habitat, but it looks like it is, and that's all that matters. For this top part where the barrier is, again, I am using 
Planet Zoo barriers. Listen, I I am not happy about it either. Um, I only use it at this top portion though, and I do kind of use natural barriers and fencing, and of course the water. So it ends up making up for the fact that I had to use Planet Zoo barriers. I had a lot of different ways that I wanted to do this habitat. So at first I thought I was wanting to do like a wood piece up at the top there, but then I ended up just kind of going ham on the rock work. I lined it all with tropical rocks because we are in a tropical world. So it would match very well with the natural terraining of the habitat. The finished look just looks so great, but at the start here, I didn't really know <laughs> where I was going with it. So I kept just kind of jumping around until something looked right. I knew that a big thing for this habitat was gonna be where they can walk, where they can climb. That was gonna be a big factor. I went ahead and put a barrier down just so that I could get the black bears in here so that I could see where they could walk and everything. Once the bears actually got in here, I knew that I wanted to have kind of a bridge for them to walk over. That's also gonna get their climbing need up. And then I wanted this like tree house looking thing to be up overlooking the guest. The Australia pack doesn't have the best building pieces. They have this very pretty wood, like these wood buildings, which is great for like an outback habitat. But these are black bears and they are not found in the outback. And you can't change the color of this wood, which would have saved me right there. If I could have changed the color of this wood, you would hear no complaints from me. But you can't change the color of the wood. So I ended up just kind of positioning it like I did and then using the metal roofing from the Australian pack. And actually, it didn't turn out that bad. I ended up using some of the climbable wood from the habitat enrichment needs. And I used it as support for not only the bridge that they can walk on, but also support for the building. And I ended up lining it like this wood was holding this building together. And that dark wood with the light wood ended up up looking so good. Chef's kiss. I love how it ended up. Back to the actual habitat part. Up here where I was gonna do that woodwork, I ended up doing a little pond because believe it or not, none of the water surrounding this habitat is accessible by the black bears. So... <laughs> I also just kind of made these like fences next to the cliffside. The black bears can't get over there anyways, but I wanted it to look a little bit more realistic and not just water separating guests from black bears. So I wanted to kind of make just a little fence so that's like, okay, the black bears can't get out. After that though, it was time for my favorite part, which is the foliage. I think that the foliage in this habitat just brought it all together. I mean, it looked great before, but once I added like these lily pads and all of the trees and little bushes and just plants around the habitat, it just became so cohesive with not only like my vision for this habitat, but also it made the waterfall fit with the habitat as well as the pathways that connect the two habitats. They just, they all came together. And um, I think the black bear habitat is probably my favorite habitat in this zoo so far. I do plan on doing more wheel videos. I may do some different videos in between the wheel videos. So if you've liked it so far, stay tuned for that. But here is the finished black bear habitat. Those are the three habitats I have for you guys today. I plan on doing more wheel videos. I kind of want this whole zoo to get filled up and look like a real zoo. So if you would like to see more wheel videos, absolutely subscribe, more will be coming. If you would like to see other types of Planet Zoo videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button too. I'm hoping to get another video out for you guys, still in Planet Zoo, but something other than the wheel video. All right guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.